All right, so we got some new stuff this week, new sweatshirts and t-shirts that we found. Um, we'll go ahead and start here at the front. Um, very first one, we actually just found this one this morning. It's a McCuffey's, which we're assuming is maybe like a restaurant or bar in Charlotte. Um, just thought the graphic on this one was crazy. It says, let's do the wild tang. It's on the 90s for the loom tag. And then the backside, it's like a reverse, like mirrored image. Really, really cool. All right, so next up, it's another cool piece too. It's a needlepoint. Like a, kind of like equestrian or just like a horse graphic. It's on a panel tag. Probably like 80s going into the 90s on this one. A lot of horses out here, yeah. so. All right, next up, just a classic Tommy Hill figure, crew neck. Tommy tackle tool on the front and he'll figure on the back side. That's a good looking sweatshirt. All right, next up for all the locals, got a West Virginia. This is probably a tourism um, sweatshirt of some sort. It was done by Bird Legs, it's dated 92. And of course the tag matches the era. Nothing on the back side. It's a nice West Virginia piece. It's just a simple, medium, Lee, midweight, um, sweatshirt made in USA looks good all right so now we got rest t-shirts this one's pretty crazy it's a Billy Joel I believe this is a stormfront tour tee I'll be able to tell in a second but on the Hanes tag it's a large so probably end up shrinking down to a medium all right on the back side yep it's a stormfront tour 89 to 90 this thing's in great shape it almost feels dead stock and let me go ahead and grab that shirt that hit the ground. It's actually a cool one. This is a Sony Trinitron T, which I'm assuming was a like a promo item or something for Trinitron. I believe was like those big um, screens that you would see at like stadiums and whatnot. It's a single stitch, probably like a '90s T, and as you can tell on the back side, Trinitron written and some crazy kind of 3D graphic. All right, so after that one, there's another really cool piece. It's a Randolph County 4H, size small. Randolph County is, I believe, where Elkins, West Virginia is. It's really nice. All right, next up, George Clinton and the P-Funk All-Stars Band. It's on an old signal tag, XL, but it probably fits more like a large now. And to make matters even better, we want the funk on the backside. This one's crazy. All right, next up, we've got a University of Michigan on a softy tag. Probably 80s going to the 90s, probably just 1980s on this piece. Size small, made in USA. Very classic looking. All right, next up, we got a Rolling Stones. I believe this is 1989. I think that was a Steel Wheels tour. It's on a TJ's tag, size medium. Probably fits uh, a medium, actually. Hasn't shrank down to a small or anything. And then on the, the back side, 89. And again, I think this was Steel Wheels tour. All right, next up, got a Nike blue tag. It's a boys XL, so this actually would fit like a small or extra small, but it's funny, this shirt almost looked bootleg because I haven't really seen that kind of Nike graphic unless it was actually on a bootleg. And it's just got various sports written on it, football, basketball, baseball, and then on the back side, same thing. Paper thin, really soft, very cool Nike piece. All right, next up. Super Chevy Sunday official. I believe this was a car show. It's on a Bantam tag, size large. Probably fits like a large still too. It's a cool V-neck. And on the back side, nice graphic. Dated 85, sponsored by Super Chevy Magazine. All right, so 
some serious late 90s Y2K vibes right here. It's a Spice Girls promo tee. Single stitched. Or excuse me, double stitched. My mistake. But it is on an older tag, all sport max weight tag. A youth large, probably fits a small also. Nothing on the back side. All right, here's a really cool shirt. It's a Daytona dirt track, motocross tee. Crazy uh, colors on this thing. And can't really make out what the tag is, but it is single stitched. Pretty thin, pretty soft. And then on the back side, you can tell it's from 1989. Kind of the same graphic on the back side too. A little bit of raised print. All right, next up. Oh, forgot a sweatshirt. Got a Winston-Salem State University. This still is a school. I believe this is an 80s piece. I actually played against this, this school in college, which is funny. It's a great sweatshirt. All right, next we got a 1970s JC Penney Men's Shop Pocket Tee striped. This is nice. It's in great shape too. There's no holes, no rips, no stains or anything. Very classic American looking pocket tee here. All right, next up, got a Miller Lite, kind of like rainbow stripe in the center. T-shirt, it's on a Velvachine tag. It's probably 1980s, late 80s. It says it's an XL, but it's probably more like a large now. Nothing on the backside. All right, next up, got a Made in USA. Converse All-Star Double XL. It's not single stitch, it's double stitch, but this is probably a 90s piece for sure. Feels dead stock also. And got that classic Converse All-Star logo on the back side. All right, next up, for all the Odyssey of the Mind people out there, I was in this myself as a kid. This is a Youth XL. Could also fit a small on a Screen Stars tag. Nothing on the back side, but probably like an early 90s piece right here. Very neat. All right, just found this one recently too, I believe yesterday. This is a Willie Nelson single stitch on a Allure tag, size large. Crispy graphic on the front, definitely a dead stock t-shirt. Still has the inspection sticker on it. And then on the back side, Nice piece. All right, next up, we've got a Nike white tag. Size large, made in Mexico. This is not single stitch, it's double stitch, but this would have been a late 90s piece. Just a nice, simple Nike tee. Nothing on the backside. All right, next up, we got a Harley tee. This is on a officially licensed Harley blank. Single stitched. And this actually was done by Funwear. Funwear definitely did some of the crazier graphics. They tend to use a lot of colors. Um, doesn't surprise me that this is on uh, a blank tee that's not black or white. Uh, they tend to, to just do a lot of crazy colorways, and I personally like their stuff the most. A size large definitely fits like a large. It's in great shape too. Nothing on the backside. All right, we've got a Virginia Tech tee. It's on a Velvachine tag again. Size medium. Probably fits a medium still too. Got a little bit of wear, but still in pretty good shape considering how old it is. Got a rainbow stripe down the middle. The old school Virginia Tech seal. Nothing on the backside. All right, next up we got a Jeff Gordon rookie year, 93. This is before he was sponsored by DuPont. This is when he was ra uh, racing for AC Delco. Single stitched. This thing is definitely dead stock. It's a size XL, made in Mexico, but it was, fabric was made in USA, so. Got a helmet on the back side. It's a cool piece. All right, next up, we got a Vince Gill tee on a really, really rare size, a 3XL. Actually haven't seen that tag before, so it's a new one. So we got Vince on the front side. Nothing on the back side. It's a cool 90s piece. 
All right, next up, another country musician. We got Clint Black. It's a size XL. Feels dead stock. So that's the front side on the back side. It's a nice piece. All right, a couple more left. We've got a 90s Cowboys size medium on the home team advantage tag. Nothing on the back side, single stitch. Cool Cowboys piece. And last up, got a pocket tee, tree bark camo. No tag, but it's definitely like 80s going into the 90s, probably. Single stitch. And that's it. That's what we have for sweatshirts and t-shirts. All right, so next up we have some jackets and coats. So starting here at the front, um, not a jacket or coat, but we ra uh, rarely get uh, sleeveless like denim pieces, but this was just neat. It's an old Banana Republic made in USA, size medium. All right, next up we got actually the set, duck camo. This is Ranger brand, which made a lot of hunting and outdoor apparel, size medium. And this is an older pair for sure. It's got an ideal zipper, good size, probably like a 30 something waist, like between you know, like a 30, a 32 ish. All right, next up, got a nice classic Tommy jeans, jean jacket, smaller size. All right, next up, got a made in USA, guest jeans, dark wash, jean jacket. Very nice. Even better. Got that classic triangle logo on the bottom. All right, next, got a center aisle, kind of like corduroy collar jean coat. It's flannel lined. It's got buttons. All right, next up, got a probably mid to late 90s Tampa Bay Devil Rays starter jacket here. It's definitely dead stock. Crazy colors on this. This is before the name change. Nice piece. All right, next up, got a Wilson windbreaker, embroidered on the chest. Probably a size of medium. Great colors, good shape. All right, next up, we got a 1990s LL Bean made in USA fleece, size women's small. Got the cursive logo on the chest, button snaps. All right, after that, we got a Jeff Gordon pullover, size medium, Chase Authentics. It's embroidered on the front, sleeve. All right, next up, got a Top Gun tobacco promo jacket, button snap, a little bit insulated. Nice piece. It's on a West Ark tag. They made a lot of windbreakers. All right, next up, we got a Goodyear Motorsports promo jacket made by Swingster, size large. Embroidered logo on the front. All right, next up, kind of a rare piece. This is a David Brown Tractor Company. Probably like a 1960s piece. Got the really old Swift zipper. This feels dead stock, like it was put away years and years ago. And I only know this because I grew up on a farm and know way too much about tractors. All right, next up, two puffer jackets. We got a nice Tommy Hilfiger one here. This is a size, doesn't say, oh, size large. Very nice, even has a removable hood. You can take the zipper off. All right, and after that, we got a Made in USA LL Bean puffer jacket, size women's large. It's got buttons and a zipper. Cool LL Bean piece right there. All right, and that's pretty much it for jackets and coats. All right, so next up we have some thermals, some sweaters, and some collared shirts in the back. So we'll start here at the front with some thermals. We've got a camo thermal here. Um, it's missing the tag, but if we had to guess, probably size medium, probably 90s on this one. Um, another one that's missing the tag, but definitely feels old. Uh, and again, this one's probably a medium also. These are just great to layer with, especially when it's freezing cold outside. And next up, we have a three button J.E. Morgan. This is 90s for sure, size small, made in USA. Uh, next one, we got a dual fold, size small. This is a great piece, like Santa Claus-ish almost. It's even got a flap on the back side. The back flap. <laughs> All right, next up, we 
got a RK Originals size 16, which is kind of like a women's large. Great, great design. Just a nice, yeah, casual piece. Uh, next up, got a Tommy Jean sweater made in Japan. Great shape. This thing's almost mint. Can't go wrong with the big oversized Tommy logo on the front. All right, next up, got a very classic Lamar made in USA, size medium. Nice subtle color there. Could go with almost anything. Very warm. And next up, this one doesn't have a tag, but it definitely looks and feels old. Again, nice subtle color there. Probably a large or a medium. All right, next up, we got a Hill and Archer made in USA. Size large sweater here. Probably 1990s. Very heavy. Doesn't feel wool, feels acrylic. Oh, it's actually 100% cotton. <laughs> Alright, next up, got a Orvis. This is a vintage, kind of like faux shawl sweater with just one button at the bottom. Made in USA. This probably is wool. And next up, got a Stonehaven. Doesn't say what size, but probably a large on this one. It's almost like cable knit. Great piece. All right, nice abstract looking sweater here made by Chartwell. It's a size XL. Cool colors. All right, next up, we've got a Lake Harmony USA, made in USA sweater, size XL. I believe this is called Bird's Eye Pattern. And it is 100% cotton, not wool. All right, next up, got a Side Effects crazy sweater it's not a it's actually almost like a jacket sweater of some sort because it doesn't have buttons it doesn't have a way to to like button itself or zip itself up in the middle but what's cool about this is it actually has like a built-in pocket at the bottom it's just a really cool piece all right next up got a i believe this is a handmade sweater of some sort feels wool can't believe somebody actually took the time to make this Cinches at the bottom a little bit. It's got built-in pockets. Very, very warm. All right, next up we have some collared shirts. So we'll start here. We've got a Tommy Hilfiger, uh, Hilfiger Athletics polo. Probably 90s going into the 2000s. This is a size large. Chest embroidered. All right, next up, really cool piece in my opinion. This is a beach mountain, which I have no idea what it is, but I'm digging the stripes on the shoulders into the sleeve. And this is actually a Collegiate Pacific piece. They did a lot of stuff for colleges in the 80s. It's a size large, could also fit a medium. It's in great shape. All right, next up, probably a 1960s, judging by the buttons and the label here, Samphorized Boy Scout shirt. Somebody had taken the patches off. Not a big deal. It's in good shape though. All right, next up, got a wild looking kind of 90s Western women's piece, kind of cropped at the bottom. Haven't seen this tag before, size small. Some studs there, some crazy trim. All right, next up, got a vintage REI. Almost like a, I don't even know what you call this kind of collar style, but heavy, almost like flannel-like material. It's a really cool button up there. All right, next up, got a thinner counter action. Don't know what size this is, probably a medium. Just simple button up. Nice colors, especially for spring or summer. All right, next up, this one's missing a tag, but definitely old. Can't really make out what it is. Maybe old Sears brand or Fieldmaster or something along those lines. Probably 70s going into the 80s. My guess is probably early 80s on this piece. Nice heavyweight flannel. And last up, we have a US Navy piece. And again, that kind of weird collar at the top. I don't know what the deal is on this. It's a size 32 slim, so like a medium or a small. And the only patch I can even see in it is this one here. It says it's a utility shirt and it is Olsen 
So it's just kind of neat how they stenciled everybody's name on the old stuff like that. So yeah, those are our thermals, sweaters, and collared shirts. Alright, so I'm just going to go over some of the more summery pieces that we found this week. Um, we're going to start off with these navy colored, um, kind of like track, track shorts with the red outline. Um, no tag in there, but definitely tell that they're old. Next we have this... Um, just a very simple kind of 90s floral dress with the little slits at the bottom, buttons all the way down, just a really nice size. Here we have the Dale Earnhardt denim button up tank. Um, I love this piece, it kind of reminds me of something my mom would have worn. Here we've got kind of like a baby doll tank actually got really excited that this was on a old um, Sasson tag just because you see these but they're usually um, newer so really got excited when I saw this um, this one's kind of fun it's actually an older basic editions tag um, definitely reminds me of something I would have worn in like middle school and what I like about it is it just has the, the three buttons open back just a fun summer piece. Here we've got this kind of glittery uh, snap. I'm not sure what you call these, like a like snap things. And then I'm guessing probably the same person dropped this one off as well. Um, just a really nice summer piece with the fun detail. Here we have this tank top with almost like an asymmetrical bottom on a A. Aubrey tag. Um, definitely like a 90s piece right here. High neckline. This one I love. Kind of want to keep it for myself. Also has these snap pieces in the front, like a thermal feeling shirt definitely on the thicker side. Here we have a dead stock sweater shirt. Um, really liked this piece. It's on a glamour knit tag, but just really basic, really simple. Would pair great with a nice pair of vintage jeans. Basically could go with anything. And here we have this really nice pastel toned some pastel toned uh, tank top shirt. Um, again, it's harder to find, I feel like, women's vintage tops. So when I find them, just get really excited. Um, so that's all for that. We're going to go ahead and probably do the denim video next and then a walkthrough of the shop. So it's time for this week's denim haul. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. We have this black pair of Wranglers, a very slim pair, made in USA. Um, Wranglers always have the long inseam, so you know if you want to cut them at the bottom, cuff them. It's always a great option. Next up, we have another pair of black denim 550s, relaxed fit, tapered leg. These are made in USA, size eight. Great condition, feels like they've barely been worn at all. Um, you know, not much fading at all on these. Just a really good solid pair of black, black denim. Like I said, always try and grab those black denim jeans. Next up we have actually a Carolina Blues brand. These are small waisted, um, pretty small waisted I would say, and they're just a little different but I like the color of these super high waisted um, these are made in these are made in Hong Kong but definitely vintage next up don't always get the denim skirts but I just really liked this bonjour brand denim or acid wash denim um, jean skirt Again, don't always get these, but I was just feeling this one in particular. 
Next up, we have the, I always say chic, but it might be cheek brand jeans. Another small waist. Um, so went ahead and grabbed these. These are in pretty good condition. Nice wear, so they're on the softer side. So they'll be very comfortable. Here we actually have an older pair of Wrangler uh, boot cut jeans. I wouldn't say they're not, they're not flare, definitely a boot cut. We got, we got the cool pocket stitching right there. That Wrangler logo. We got that. Would pair nicely with a nice belt. Maybe a belt with a belt buckle. Who knows? Next up, I've never seen this before on a Levi's jean. Um, we have this back patch. We have blue tab with orange writing. Um, if anyone knows anything about these, let me know. Um, again, this is the first pair I've ever stumbled upon that has this specific patch. Uh, these are more like a, not wide leg, but pretty straight, more like a straight leg, high-waisted. Tag has been ripped out, so I can't really. Can't, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming made in USA for sure. Here we have the Tommy Sports um, denim. I believe these are bootleg. Yes, these are on a wild tag, made in China. But we have the that big preposterous logo on the back pocket. Again. Some Tommy Sports. Next up we have a Button Fly 501 um, Made in USA denim jean. Again, we got the Button Fly right there. Tag's been ripped out, but they are made in USA. Always get excited to find a pair of 501s. Here we have an orange tab Levi's. Uh, these are a size, size I'm not sure, but I'm gonna guess with probably a women's 10 or 12. Have a nice little fade going on in the back, nothing too crazy. Um, just a really nice pair of Levi's. Next up, these are Wranglers, I believe. We have the Wrangler tag right here. Um, like this color, it's almost like a maroon, but also it's like a neutral that you can pair nicely with a lot of different things. These are made in USA. Again, just a fun color. I find these a lot, uh, this color and the olive color. Next up, we have the yellow tab Levi's. These are 950 Relax Fit shorts. So these aren't too long, so we're probably, you know, if someone gets these, they can just cuff these up like that. Great size. Made in USA. Size seven. And this is actually a French designer brand. Uh, Francois Gerbaud, Francois Gerbaud. So you have the shorts here with the, it's almost like Velcro under logo. Almost like you can, I guess, tighten them, cinch the legs a little bit. Um, so we just grab these when we see them. Uh, this was a new brand to me, I would have never known anything about it but Keith was the one that told me like don't pass up on these these are definitely a thing um so there you have it there's this week's denim haul